Okay, so for here's my next activity that I'm working with a magnetic field. And we learned about a magnetic field and how it's the area that's around a magnet, kind of like when the magnets repel and you can feel that ball in between them. So I'm going to see how strong these magnets are and how strong the magnetic field is. So I got all my materials. Um, I'm going to put my ruler down on my table and I'm going to start with two magnets and I'm going to put one magnet at the end of my ruler. Um, so I know I want to attract them, so I'm going to use the opposite poles. Um, and let's see how close I can get before the magnet attracts. Okay, so that was about a half an inch. I just learned to measure in math, so I know that this is about a half an inch when they attract it. I'm going to try it one more time just to make sure. Okay, and I'm going to get closer. Yep, again, it looked like about a half an inch. Um, so the first question on my paper says, what happens when I bring my magnets closer together? And I know that the magnet... attracts to the other magnet. So that's what happened. I'm just writing my answer. Okay. Um, all right, so now they want to know how close I can get. My teacher did give me one other object that I can use, so I'm going to try a paper clip and see if it's more than a half an inch. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. It starts at the end of my ruler and I'm moving my magnet closer. Okay, oh, that was a little bit further. It looks like that one was about three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to use that one. I'll try it one more time just to be sure. Now I can't get them to unstick. Okay. Okay, yeah, I would say that that's about three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to Okay, so it's a little bit less than an inch. Okay, so the next one says use only one magnet. So I'm going to get rid of my other magnet. And I'm going to test the cup. Let's see if the cup is magnetic. No, it doesn't feel like that's magnetic. So it says <clears throat> um, I have to circle. So does the magnet attract to the cup? No. All right, so then it says put the paper clip inside the cup. Okay, and it says test the magnet with the plastic cup again. What happens to the paper clip? Okay, oh, the paper clip is magnetic, so the paper clip looks like it's moving wherever I move my magnet in the cup. That's pretty cool. Wow. Okay, so I have to draw a picture of this, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw my cup. Okay, and... Here's my paper clip, and I'm going to draw my paper clip up here because I thought it was really cool that my magnet brought my paper clip all the way up here. And there's my magnet, and it can move. So it says, I'm going to try it one more time. That was pretty cool. Huh. Okay, so it says, is the magnet touching the paper clip? No, I don't think it is. Okay, um, what's in between them? Well, for this one, the cup was in between it, so. Okay, and it, why does this happen? Well, we just talked about magnetic field, so I think it's the magnetic field that goes through the cup. Okay, and it says, does the magnet need to touch an object in order for it to move? And I'm going to say no, because I just moved this magnet without touching it. Okay, so I'm done with my experiment, and I have some extra time, so I think I'm going to take some time to play more with my paper clip and magnets.